Welcome back to our explorations of the incredible Bodrum Castle. We've worked up quite an appetite climbing its amazing towers and browsing its spectacular museum that transported us to the depths of the sea. So today we decided to eat like the locals do with a very unique recipe that's adored across the Aegean coast of Turkey. The recipe we'll be cooking today is stuffed squash blossoms. So these are our squash blossoms. It's actually the flower of a squash or zucchini plant. They're very delicate and don't transport well, so the only time you can find them is at local markets or if you have some zucchini plants in your garden. But they're beloved across the Aegean. This video was filmed at a distance that does not pose a risk to any cultural properties. So today we'll be stuffing those with a mixture of rice, onions, and some nice herbs. First, I'll chop my green onions. You can also use regular onions, any kind. Red, yellow, white onions are also fine. And now it's time for our herbs. Today I'm using parsley, dill, and fresh mint. And I'm saving all of the stems of the herbs to lay in the bottom of the pot so it doesn't burn. Everyone in Turkey has their own different recipe for stuffed squash blossoms. So your choice of herb is actually up to you. You can use just parsley, you can use only dill, you can use dried mint instead of fresh, anything you like. The most important thing is that you use a lot of herbs. We are in the Aegean after all, and they love all green vegetables, any kind of herb, lots of fresh and healthy ingredients. So I'll just roughly chop my herbs. So I'll add the herbs into my bowl with the onions. In place of fresh tomato, you can also use tomato paste. Just chop the tomato into small pieces. This really is just such a classic Aegean recipe with this combination of olive oil, fresh vegetables, and lots and lots of herb. Tomatoes go in my bowl as well. Now I'm gonna spice this very simply with just salt and pepper. Ah, oh, nice fresh black pepper. I'm using broken rice for this dish just so it cooks a little faster. You don't want to add too much rice. It's going to look like it's not enough, but since it expands when it's cooking, you don't want the flowers to explode. Just give this a stir. And I'll also add just a little olive oil. We are in the Aegean after all. Perfect. And there's our filling. Look at all those beautiful colors. Now on to our squash blossoms. Like I mentioned, these are really delicate and actually quite difficult to stuff without breaking, but the end result is just so, so delicious. And the interesting thing about these flowers is that you have to collect them first thing in the morning. When the sun first comes up, they open up really nicely, but after an hour or two of heat, they start to close, making them really difficult to stuff. So only early risers get the delicious squash blossoms. So I'll use my leftover herb stems to cover the bottom. This will add some nice extra flavor and keep everything from burning. On top of the herb stems goes a little bit of sliced tomato. And now I'm ready to stuff. It doesn't take much and keep in mind that the rice will expand. So just a spoonful of filling in the middle, and then you fold up the leaves around it, making a nice little package, just like that. And then I put them petal side down so they don't open when cooking. 
In Turkey, stuffed vegetables of all kinds are extremely popular. Locals like to stuff not only squash blossoms, but grape leaves, eggplant, peppers, tomatoes, even more difficult vegetables like turnips and onions. And of course, like almost every dish, there are countless variations on all of these stuffed vegetables. Some use fresh tomato, others use just tomato paste. Some are mild, some are spicy, and the list goes on and on. Now, if you can see inside this flower, the stamen is still intact. Now, some Turkish people swear that you have to remove each one because it gives your finished product a bitter flavor. I've actually tried it both ways and I don't see too much of a difference. So if you're in a hurry, you can save yourself the hassle and just leave it in. My last flower. And there we go. My beautiful pot of stuffed squash blossoms is ready to cook. Just need a little olive oil. And some water to help the rice cook. If you find that your flowers are floating to the top a little bit, you can also put a plate on top to weigh it down. But this looks okay to me. All I need is a lid and some heat. And that'll just cook for about 30 minutes. So while those are cooking, I can clear my table and get ready to serve. By the way, this video was filmed at a distance that does not pose a risk to any cultural properties. It's been about 30 minutes, so I think our squash blossoms are almost ready. They look perfect and it smells so good too. The blossoms themselves have softened and the rice is cooked through. We're ready to plate. I'll just add a little sprinkle of fresh herbs on top for some extra freshness. And there we go. Our stuffed squash blossoms are ready and look absolutely delicious. This video was filmed at a distance that does not pose a risk to any cultural properties. The only thing that can make this meal any better is a nice refreshing drink. I've got some homemade lemonade that's been garnished with the famous mandarin oranges of Bodrum. Cheers. Mm. And now it's time to taste the squash blossoms too. Mmm, so delicious. It tastes as good as it looks. When I first saw this, I thought it was almost too pretty to eat, but now that I've tasted it, I think I could probably finish the entire plate. Thank you for joining us on this journey as we continue to cook our way through Turkey's archeological sites. <laughs>